It's gonna be a good one. The tire's not that flat. Right on. Feeding time. So that's it all. If you watched the last video today, it's the last day of planting. We just got a small field left. And actually, uh, our other bean fields started getting sprayed last night. Last video, I also had an appointment, had to run to town. And today, I got another one. So after chores here, we're going to run back to town. Uh, I hate driving to town. I just like being on the farm. And then we'll come back. Dad will probably be pretty close to finishing that field. We'll go roll it. Then we got pears to move. The darn kosher's coming like crazy. It's about the number one enemy out here. Did you do that? No. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there so maybe you'll put your elbow in it. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't already. Grab Ellie, pick her up and rub it off on me. <laughs> oh, hey, I like cutting Ellie. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you look that up. I wouldn't do that for 10, but 11. <laughs> <laughs> 11 it is. <sighs> Someone help us with the solution. Stank a dog. Have fun. I'm gonna go start planting. Nice, they got one cow left to just the cap. We're gonna grab some pellets and some mineral, check on a close group of critters, make sure they got hay yet. We'll be letting them out fairly shortly, just want their pasture to green up a little bit more. Then I gotta go run to Mitchell again, go to a uh, fun fact orthodontist appointment. I've had Invisalign for the last like 11 months, if you haven't noticed. Aren't they pretty? Usually when I drive up here, I see cattle. Where'd they go? They're nowhere. I mean, this is pretty probable. Looks like there's a lot of traffic. What are the odds the whole herd just hopped that fence? Let's hope it's that one, and let's hope that fence is good. See if there's any fresh poo. They gotta be out here somewhere. Oh, there them suckers are. I don't like that. That hasn't been dried up for years. Well, hello, girls. I've been looking for you. I guess you could say it's our fault though for having a crappy fence right there. It's on the list, I tell ya. It's on the list. And if you're not new to the channel, you know we do a lot of fencing projects every year. Just like the one on the outside of these trees, it's a little over a half mile long and we did that in December. I think personally we do a lot of fencing, but there's also a lot that needs done. Gosh, I just hate that that is dried up. I guess we could use the rain. And here's a look at that nice, gotta love some brand new tight barbed wire fences. Ready up? Oh yeah. Morning everybody. I am across the fence planting our last field of beans today. 80 acres there. And I'm right next to this 240 acre field of corn, which was the last field of corn we planted. Just out digging a little bit and seeing how it's coming up. You can see it shows up a little bit. Little guy coming right there. Here and there. I saw the one here, but no, oh, it's right there. And right there. And the ground's gonna start warming up a little more. We're gonna start getting close to the 70s for many days and not as cold at night. So they're coming. This guy poked through fairly quickly. Okay, we're gonna get these fields sprayed pretty soon. And we're gonna get this, hopefully, this field of beans planted. Shouldn't take too long if we don't have trouble. And then we'll move on to the next thing, uh, getting some more pears, cow-calf pears moved to pasture later today. Pretty sure in every one of the last four videos, we got food from town. Sounds a bit excessive, maybe to you. Perfect to me. What should we get today, boys and girls? I just threw a letter in the mailbox, and it's supposed to go to Australia. Do you think one stamp will do, or do I need... Do I need, and also, do I need to flip the stamp upside down? I don't know how that works. Planting. So as I uh, 
I work this field and I look across into our big field, 240 acres, I'm reminded of June 16th, 1992. We were down on section 11, cultivating, I believe, cultivating some corn that we don't do anymore. It was so dark that morning, abnormally dark. It just didn't feel right. And I was over there and I thought, you know, I think maybe I should call the hail insurance to the crop insurance place and put some hail coverage on. It was nine o'clock in the morning, I believe. And I don't know, within a couple hours, it started hailing and I headed for home with the tractor. And when I got out, as I opened the door, one hailstone, which was about the size of a half dollar or a quarter, maybe a little, halfway between those two, hit me right in the thumbnail as I was opening the door. That really hurt. And uh, went inside and storm went through and my wife called and said, did we get damaged? And I walked outside and I said, it doesn't look too bad here. And she goes, oh, because Mary Ann said that they got quite a bit of hail. Well, a lot of what I farm is over by Mary Ann's place. She was a neighbor that worked at the same bank Tammy did. As I was talking to Tammy on the phone, and she said that about Mary Ann. I looked over towards the east, toward the direction of the ground I farm, and I could see steam coming off the ground, something that I hadn't really experienced before, and I thought, well, that's strange. Well, the steam was the ice from the hail melting on a warm day and rising up into the atmosphere. Drove over here, this ground next to me. I, didn't, I wasn't farming this at the time. This ground south of me was hailed out, hard, just really ripped up. The one that I was in cultivating, same way. I called the hail company back and I said, now, we're good on this, right? Yeah, it's only gotta be a certain amount of time, we're good, and I said, well, good, because I just got hailed out. And I wasn't farming very much at the time, and if I remember right, that was like a $14,000 phone call or something where, you know, that's how much coverage I got. Prices weren't as good back then. But then I turned around and I, uh, so we got three inches of rain with that on June 16th, 1992. And then uh, a couple weeks later, I tilled that and put beans back in. And then we had an extremely cool summer. Just never heated up, just 70s. And those beans didn't get pushed along. I didn't get in there till June 23rd to start planting them. And that fall, everybody started combining and mine were grass green yet. And when I combined them, they ran seven bushel to the acre and they were green. So I got docked for, for greens in them. Even though they were dry, they were, they died from frost while they were green and they stayed green. I hear if you put them in the bin, eventually they will turn to yellow. But anyway, not a good year, but glad I called and got the hail insurance on June 16th, 1992. That's all I got to say about that. Oh my gosh, is that the world's only corn palace? I'm going where that guy's going. It's actually pretty nice out here. So dad's still waiting on seed. A neighbor of ours called and he said he needed a little help. His rolling tractor went down. He's got an 80 that a big chunk of it's rolled but there's just a little bit left. And so we're gonna drive down there, help them out, because that's what neighbors do. It's not that many acres. Hopefully Brant doesn't mind too much that we're helping a neighbor out with a little bit of acres. What do you got? I was just going to roll. Okay, I've never rolled with that tractor. You want to? I'll no. plant the rest, you can no. roll. Nope, I plant. You plant. I plant the beans. Okay. What are we doing tomorrow for fun? Don't tell me mowing the lawn, because that's Hey, there's fun. a package right there. Hey. Hey. What is it? I guess, you know what that means. It means Ellie barked at the mailman hey, again. Hey, you so scared? I'll get my check knife out. Can I? I know what I'll be doing in the field this afternoon. Coloring book. And a coloring. I'm pretty sure that's for you, because they know you. That's the kind of. Tractor coloring book for kids ages four to eight. Yeah, it's my age group. There you go. But uh, take a time, 30. There's smaller <clears throat> packages, so I'm going to take one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. There is not a note. Well, how thoughtful. Yeah. Thank you. And 
you just made Brian's day. 40 acres of planting right there. All right. You want to put that away too? Yep. Good job. All right. That's all I got to say about that. I go roll. It's like Easter, finding stuff in random places. I guess that's what you could say a nice quality roller can help you do. Get your stuff, get your own stuff done, and then help out a fellow neighbor. See that one squatting. All right, sounds good, thank you. All right, thank you, bye. Thank you, Layton. I did not turn, or I did not get wide enough. Now that's an agronomist right there, one that gets out and moves your mailbox so you don't deck it for you. While I'm on the phone, that was part of the issue. He saw what was gonna happen, he didn't even pause, he just hopped right out and grabbed our mailbox. I forgot to mention in the last video the opportunity for you farmers out there that are looking to upgrade maybe a roller or a grain cart. There is a link below and if you hit that and you get yourself hooked up with a new machine from Brandt and you can save yourself $250 or you can get a Yeti cooler, a big chest Yeti cooler, fancy stuff. Keep your, keep your beverages cool when you go out boating after you get planting done about four miles from home. This is not my neck of the woods, but I'm pretty sure there's a tractor sitting somewhere, broke down. Something about a grass road, something about a tractor broke down. That looks like grass. It's a minimum maintenance road. It's gotta be the grass road they was talking about. I'm guessing it's over here. Oh yeah, there's a tractor out there that broke down. It's got the hood open. Here we go. Whee! Oh! And that's what I get for doing that one-handed. Not very often you roll around another fella's roller. And we are done with that one. Hopefully they get that figured out so they can get rolling again. <laughs> rolling. So now we gotta head back the opposite way. Got a little bit of traveling to do. Just about seven miles. And we will finish our last field of the year. Wonder how long that's been dragging. They just said he's on the last pass of that field, so he's almost done. And then it's on to some critter work. Wrangle up some cattles, as they say. All right, last unfold of the year. brought enough water for that first field kind of thirsty I think people like this last time so I'm gonna do it again you see that there rock let's watch it get smushed say goodbye <laughs> Woo! that's what we're here for one more time for good measure that's what they call double tap if you did miss that first video we were rolling when I explained why we're rolling right there is it those rocks when we're harvesting beans, the header is running straight on the ground and if a rock gets in there or even just hits the cutting bar up front, that sickle and the guards, it can cause some damage. If it goes into the combine, it can cause a lot of damage. So that's why people roll, push those rocks in. Of course, why don't you just pick the, all the rocks up? Some boil up over the years of tillage or roots pushing them up or this and that. But even if you think you got every single one, miss one, that one rock can ruin your year. Cause a lot of damage, costs a lot of money. So I guess plant 2021 is over with. Roll 2021 has about 20 minutes left. And then what are we gonna do? Well, I personally am gonna have surgery, but we also got pain coming. 
breaking, bailing, cutting, hauling. I will of course miss a little bit of that at the beginning, but I will be back. And we also got some demos for that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in what we got going on for making hay. We got the new self-propelled, new to us, self-propelled wind rower that we're gonna be trying out for the first time. That was the perfect time to start headed this way. The rendering truck drove by. Ooh. Once Dad and I were fixing some fence along the highway and I looked up at him and I said, what the heck smells dead? Look down the road, rendering truck just drove by. Delivering stank right to us as we're fixing fence. There it is. Jeez, it got windy all of a sudden. Look at the grass. Is there a tornado behind me? Someone did comment on a video a couple weeks ago and they said, oh, you get you get tornadoes? I didn't know South Dakota got tornadoes. And I was just thinking, well, yeah, this isn't North Dakota. <laughs> Somebody's thinking North Dakota doesn't get tornadoes. Yeah, they get tornadoes too. I've been wondering what dad was up to. Get it, dad, get it. I'm thirsty. It's not what you think. I need a second opinion. Do you think a calf will skirt through that? I need to thank you. Me? Yeah. You're darn tooting you do. Yeah, so by you taking four or five attempts to back that trailer up to the chute, it allowed me time to get done mowing, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I poked the bear. Uh -huh. I do need to thank somebody, actually a group of people, Brant, for letting us demo oh. that roller. Went smooth, enjoyed it, got a lot of acres covered in a short amount of time. So would you say that the roller made it smooth? I guess. Okay. Yeah, so shout out to everyone at Brant that made that happen. Michael and Jared helped us out a lot. Let's go wrangle up some cattle. Of course, thank you to all you viewers who made that possible because you keep watching that allows us these opportunities to do demos and such like that so thank you to everyone watching and subscribing it means a lot to us out of clades just like yesterday we're gonna grab eight pairs get that done real quick it actually works pretty well just grabbing single pairs and it'll work them get the calves pink eye shots for the cows we'll drop them off that's a goal that's a big old girl it's stinking coming out of the exit port What's this cow's number? One. So would you say that we have one done? Yeah. Aren't you just the king of puns today, huh? King of puns. Pun king. Are you sure she's had one? She's bigly. Yeah, her belly looks like she's eight months bred. Eating good in the neighborhood. Uh, that's Applebee's. You know what I noticed about this pair, this cow? Huh. Her poop smells just like that cow's poop. That's all I got to say about that. We got a twofer. I personally don't know if we have a single pair, but I think Dad does. Hey, come on, girl. Woo! About flippy. Just one more after these guys. This one had milk on the face. Milk face. That's a big calf. Come on, princess. Oh! Are you serious? Your mom's waiting for you. Couldn't see the gate hole because all the milk on its face. It seems like the hard part's done. Everybody's gonna get some pour for lice and flies and worms and such. Has pink eye shots and they'll be on the way. Yeah, I know. They're right at knee height. Head to the knee hole. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Come on. You ain't gonna fit through there. There's some picky stuff in here. I think so. To the pasture we go. So 
what are we gonna do in celebration of getting done with planting? Make supper. Hmm. Eat it. That sounds horrible. Wanna go somewhere? Yeah. Do you? Okay. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I got too far away, didn't I? Gotta get halfway out the window. Don't I fall. Got the long reach, so. Don't fall out. Okay. Bills? Student loan information for Tammy. I guess Tammy must be going back. To going college. back to school. Come on, Austin Powers. Hope you enjoyed the planting videos. I'm gonna go get me some beef tips and some garlic bread. Woo! Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Do you think we're the first ones in the county done planting? I'm the only one I know of that's done. Are you the only one you know of that's done? Yeah, I guess. Except you. I don't I know you're done. I don't I was done before we started. Were you no I ain't got no land. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not giving it up, so you're you're up again it.